The truth is that as a society today, we're incredibly dependent upon space. A satellites in space that allow us to look at Earth and see where are those hurricanes coming from. GPS constellation provides navigation. We can study coral reefs and learn about the health of the oceans. Critical communications for defense and civil purposes. Our economy, our globalization is all driven by space technology. Space is also the newest human frontier and the single biggest thing preventing us from exploring further and for longer in space is the ability of our rocket engines to take us where we want to go in an efficient manner. I was on the moon one day. We went to the moon almost 50 years ago now and we never returned because it was not sustainable. Space needs to be open to the entire world. We can't just have a few selected human beings to represent humanity out there. That doesn't seem right. We need to open it up so that anybody can go. Transportation is really the key to a healthy economy. In the expansion of the United States, it was not until the transportation miracle, the railroad, that the dream of the Western expansion really was realized. And that brought along a whole economy of services. And now we're at the verge of this new transition point into space. We are able to launch lots of objects into a low Earth orbit, but the goal is points beyond. That transportation has not been fully developed. And that is our game. That's where we play. We're trying to redefine the way we travel in space. To make space transportation easy, affordable, fast, and economically rewarding. Space becomes then a place of business, you know, a place of work. Space is full of energy, full of resources, full of new places to go, and it's up to clever, inventive, uh, entrepreneurial human beings to figure out ways to use those attributes to make money. High power electric propulsion will open up the entire solar system to human exploration. Colonizing and utilizing the solar system for human benefit. Supporting space stations, sending supplies, sending fuel, sending water see hundreds of thousands of jobs created by just a, a whole industry. We want to capture that gigantic wave of operations. We want to be there when that wave breaks. <laughs>